Meteorologist Tim Wright. Welcome back here on your Wednesday, heading back to work after your 4th of July. Hopefully it was safe and enjoyable. This is Geneva with our NTV VR Wireless Camera Network, and you had some heavy rain in the area last night in Geneva. And we will have a chance of some scattered showers, maybe a rumble of thunder off and on, especially this morning, and then just a slim chance as we go through the rest of the day. But it will be so much cooler. Uh, the cooler temps have moved in, and they're going to stick around a while. Okay, we're going to be below average probably all the way through the upcoming weekend. We're going to have some off and on rain chances, primarily overnight uh, as we go through the next seven days, and then just kind of slowly warming up as we head into next week. But we're going to have this kind of westerly flow at the mid-levels of the atmosphere, kind of a zonal flow here, and it's going to keep our temps pretty comfortable. You know, we really won't swing uh, either direction too much, and it will help kind of keep kicking out these little disturbances, especially in the late evening to overnight hours, that will try to give us showers and thunderstorms. But, you know, you look at the six to 10 day outlook here, yeah, we are going to be below normal most days for the next six to 10 days, and the rain chances are going to continue. And that's the good news. We need the rain, obviously. The severe weather last night was pretty rough uh, in some areas, but at least we're going to keep a chance of some moisture here and there. And we've got a little bit of light rain that's drifting its way through. And we're just going to see you know, these light showers, which you know, along and south of the interstate is kind of favored right now for you know, just these brief passing showers that won't put down a lot in the way of rainfall, but they're going to help keep those temps down, that's for sure. 59 in Imperial, Ainsworth, 68 still in Grand Island, but only 62 in Broken Bow and the winds gradually will turn out of the northeast today and they're going to help just usher in this cooler air which we're talking high is 20 degrees cooler than yesterday and about 15 degrees below average for a lot of us as we go through the course of our Wednesday and then tonight we'll see a little bit of clearing and some of you may drop all the way down into the 40s for overnight lows and then tomorrow a little warmer maybe a few sprinkles during the day but I think the better chance of rain will be late Thursday night into Friday and right now kind of favoring southern areas there for that best chance of rain. We'll kind of keep an eye on it. Tri-City forecast today around 74. An incredible change from what we had yesterday. A low tonight, 53. Hey, open up the windows. Give the AC a break. 78 the high tomorrow and like I said, I think the better rain chance moves in late tomorrow into Friday. 72 in Holdridge, 69 up in Ainsworth. Just the change is something. Uh, I mean, this is quite the front that came through yesterday. 50 in Thedford tonight, 53 in Albion and Hastings, 55 in Smith Center, and then highs tomorrow a little bit warmer, uh, mid to upper 70s with you know, a little more sunshine kind of mixing in. And we just kind of slowly climb after Friday with those temps, get back well into the 80s by early next week. And again, a few periodic storm chances, Thursday night, Friday into Friday. That's, that's our best chance over the next seven days. The low in as 53 tomorrow. That's I, I would not be shocked if there's a couple of places that dip into the upper 40s tomorrow morning. Wow. For July. Come on, guys. It's July. This is not okay. <laughs>